Tech fans, check it out. It is now launch date of the brand new NVIDIA RTX 2060 Founders Edition card coming to market at $349. If you happen to miss the unboxing video, we'll have a link down below where you guys can check that out. Not a lot came in the box, but you guys are into that stuff. Check out that video. Now, today's video, we're going to be showing you how this card runs, all of its nice fun facts, and um, if it's actually worth your money at $349 is an entry-level RTX card. So, Let's real quick, let's jump in and let's take a close up of the card, talk about everything that's inside of it, then move on to the test system and then those scores with the benchmark song. Um, so let's jump right in. Taking a look at the top of the card, you guys can see it clearly says RTX 2060 on the card. Features the two fan design, and these fans are designed to provide a lot of airflow against the components underneath there, which is all the cooling apparatus. They're also made to be very quiet. If you've seen our other reviews, all of these new RTX cards have been running really cool and really quiet across the board. If you look down below that, you guys can actually see some of the heat fins that are part of the heating apparatus, or rather the cooling apparatus of the card. Taking a look at the rear of the card, these guys are doing something very interesting with the RTX card. I think it's a really great design. They have all the power connections at the very rear of the card, making for cable management to be better. Now, this particular card takes a single 8-pin power connector. It's recommended that you have a minimum of 160-watt power supply to power up this bad boy. Now, taking a look at the top of the card, one thing you guys are going to notice right off the bat is there's no NVLink on the 2060 RTX card. Now, it's kind of sad. It would have been really cool to be able to put two of these together and get better performance, but for some reason, NVIDIA has forgot to put that on there. Either forgot or just outright said, hey, screw it, we're not going to do that. But you guys can still see more of the heat fins and everything that have to do with the cooling apparatus, obviously the GeForce RTX on the top. And on the back of the card, I think it's really nice because they have a very good heat shield. Once again, we just see the RTX 2060. They're going to put this all over the card, making sure you know exactly what card this is. Um, if you were to want to change the cooling, all of these screws and everything in the back can be easily removed. So you could put on a liquid cooler or anything else aftermarket if you wanted to. Now, the things that you can't see about this card is that this card has 240 tensor cores and it delivers up to 52 teraflops of power. It has 1920 CUDA cores, 30 RT cores, 120 texture units, 48 ROPs, 37 RTX OPS. It has a boost clock speed of 1680 megahertz. It has 14 gigabits a second of memory data rate. It features six gigabytes of GDDR6, 192 bit memory interface, and 336.1 gigabytes a second of memory bandwidth. One thing nice about this card is on the input part of the card, which is what you see on the back of your case, it's all black, which looks pretty cool. It also has the NVIDIA logo. We see a single DVI-D connection, a Type-C, two display ports, and a single HDMI port for your connectivity. All right, so those are all the fun facts about the card. The card is also nine inches long by four inches high, and it features a dual slot design. The card looks really good. For the price, $349, everything looks good on paper, but how does that translate, you know, into real numbers at the end of the day? Well, first, let's check out our test system, and then let's check out those performance numbers with the benchmark song. Now, as far as our test system goes, we have an ASUS ROG Maximus 10 motherboard. We have an i7-8700K. We have 32 gigabytes of GDDR4 memory. We have two different hard drives for the storage. These are both Seagates or two terabyte drives. And for our boot drive, we have a single SSD drive. Now, as far as all the drivers go, we use the latest drivers available at the time of the testing. And we have windows with all of the latest updates that are available at the time as well. Now, with that said, let's check out a brand new benchmark song from my band, Seven Deadly Sins. And let's check out those performance numbers.
The card got as hot as 72 Celsius under full load, which is really not bad at all. Plus, the card does run very quiet even when the fans are running at full load. All right, so there you have it, folks. The entry-level RTX 2060 from the folks over at NVIDIA. Now, the big strong point about this card, obviously, is that it's $349, making it very affordable for users out there. But the biggest push about this and the thing that NVIDIA really wanted to get across was its performance in Battlefield 5. That's a game that's being played a lot right now. And you guys can see this card gets crazy performance even with ultra settings on. We're talking about over 100 on 1080. At 1440, we're seeing 77 and just a little bit under 60 on 4K for a card that's $349. Plus, the card runs pretty cool. It's not loud whatsoever. At the end of the day, I have to say that NVIDIA hit a real home run with this particular card. For gamers out there who want to get really great performance, they want to have a card that's future proof for all the RTX stuff and everything that's coming to the market this is definitely a card worth checking out at the moment unfortunately amd doesn't really have anything that's competing with this on the market hopefully we'll see navi and other stuff coming out in 2019 that will do that but for now for the budget cards i have to say that the 2060 rtx founders edition is an editor's choice and a definite win in the budget choice take it easy i'm elric like usual we'll have a link down below where you guys can check out one of these cards or purchase one for yourself if you so choose peace this week we're at CES, so there's lots of exciting stuff coming to the channel, so stay tuned.